I'm 2110 and I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite cuz Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for sticking around if you're watching this video because the last video I uploaded was about 4 months back. So there have been many developments in my life but I would like to take a special mention of my northeast trip. Yes, I finally got to visit the northeast. I went to the state of Sikkim and it was beautiful. I witnessed the Tibetan monks from close proximity and I stayed at a beautiful property where I was extremely close to nature. And also I got my friend Kavya wedded. She finally got married. We were waiting for her wedding for so long. We were practicing for sanghi dances and having lots of fun. We were also happy for her. <laughs> I also wore a sari by the way. and when i had realized i put on a lot of weight i decided to join an mma class and i also colored my hair and in case you haven't noticed my hair has grown from the last time i put my video of course it's been 4 months i colored my hair a shade of red which i absolutely love the last time i colored my hair was um i think probably 2 3 years back before the lockdown and i'm super happy with the result <laughs> what do you want and well if you're like my parents don't fret I am studying and the preparation for UPSC is still on. So before we move on to the video let me introduce you to Serona which is India's award winning brand for feminine hygiene and period care. Serona has kindly sent me the three products. The first is the rash cream. So as a woman I can tell you that there have been times we all develop rashes or soreness in our intimate areas due to sanitary pads, excessive sweat or the rubbing of the skin or the thighs or chafing due to sport activities. So this is when the cream comes to our rescue. The ingredients of this cream are 100% natural, all derived from plant sources and it is completely toxin free. It contains Tasmanian pepper fruit extracts, vegetables, squalene, agar wood oil, which together heal the damaged skin of inner thighs. The formula of this cream is fast absorbing and it moisturizes the area without leaving it greasy. So the second product is my most favorite, the period pain patch. It is India's first natural pain reliever with the goodness of 100% herbal formulation made out of menthol and eucalyptus oil. It provides instant relief and is super comfortable and can be used anywhere. So all you have to do is take out the patch out of it packet, peel off the transparent protective cover, and then place the patch uniformly over the pain affected areas. You should always do a patch test before you use the product. Third product I received is the period stain remover. Getting period stains on clothes is unavoidable and there is no specific solution in the market as of now. So this product is made with plant-based mild surfactants. It works on all fabrics and fresh and old stains. It has no bleach, it is color safe and no harsh chemicals. It is made of bioenzymes, grapefruit, aloe vera and lemon peel extracts and it comes with a cute little brush which you can use to wipe out the stains it also helps in removing the odor i have used the products and i have loved them myself which is why i'm recommending them to you guys you can use my coupon code aditi15 to get a flat 15% off on all products available only on the sirona.com website the link to buy will be in the description and pinned comment as well the products are also available on amazon nike and mintra And now on to the video. I'm switching off the lights because I have my table lamp on. I don't want to uh switch on any other light except the fairy lights and my lamp. It sets the mood for my study. Dash is right here and he's trying to figure out what I'm trying to do at night. And uh yeah, he's probably inspecting what I'm supposed to study. I am starting off with Indian Economy by Ramesh Singh. I had studied it on my iPad as a digital copy, but I have finally ordered the book and I am enjoying studying in hard copy and it will act like a revision. So let's get started. So the goal of today's session for economics is just to finish the first chapter, which is quite a lot of pages, but at night time I don't think I can digest more information than this. The first chapter talks about what is an economy, differentiates between micro, macro, tells us about the economic systems like the market, non-market and mixed economy. It's a must-read chapter because the concepts are very basic but they are repeated again and again throughout the book. I think Dash wants to study. Do you? Hmm? Do you want to study? Let me study baby. I know it's late. Go sleep. You eat dinner, no? Go sleep. Come on. Attention seeker. Now Simba what? Simba. <laughs> oh god. They want to play tug. So, on to my second book of today. the constitution of india 
I got bored of studying from Lakshmi Kant, so I thought I might as well revise the fundamental rights from the actual bear act because um, I don't want to miss out on a few things which UPSC has started to ask. Um, and yeah, so let me just start revising fundamental rights. I've done the first chapter of Indian economy from the book. I earlier did it on my iPad, so I wanted to do it like, you know, in hard copy. So I ordered the book. After finishing Bear Acts, I will get on to doing Upinder Singh. Tip, always remember the definition of state. You might think it's easy, but UPSC will ask you completely in detail. This also goes out for terms like law and laws in force. Remember, law can be anything like an ordinance, order, bylaw, notification, custom, usage, etc. So always read between the lines when it comes to polity. I would love to know what topic do you find interesting in Indian polity? Let me know in the comments below. So it's 12.30 and Simba and Dash are sleeping next to my study table. They will never leave me and go and sleep by themselves in the bedroom, which is open. The AC is on, but they will never sleep. And I will make myself some sleep tea because I will sleep a little Actually, there's not much to be done. I have to take and then I'll just pop it into the microwave. Heat it and then just dip my tea in. I have gas be on which is a boon. Garam ho gaya hai. It's hot now. Why is your tail moving so fast? Pani is if it's dash. And this is the tea bag. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide. Don't stop looking in my eyes. Okay guys, so it's 2.30 and I'm super tired. It's dark outside. Dash is also sleepy. Simba is super sleepy. He's not even like bothered. I am. So with this, I end my vlog. Um, thanks for watching till here if you have reached till this point. And I will see you soon in my next vlog. Say bye Dash.
ओके बाय